Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 10th of 2022, well, it is titled Globular Star Cluster 47 Tuck. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the brightest star clusters within our galaxy, brightest globular clusters. And these are some of the oldest parts of our galaxy. Now, the globular clusters exist in the halo of the Milky Way, which is a spherical cloud that surrounds the Milky Way and dates back to its earliest origins and formation. And we see the globular clusters as kind of remnants of this, of material that formed long ago when our galaxy was forming. The stars that we see here are very old. Globular clusters are some of the very oldest objects in the universe and can date back, depending on the specific cluster, 12, 13 billion years, back to the various early times. And in a way, these could be little remnants of some of the very early galaxies that formed, which weren't much bigger than star large star clusters. Very early galaxies were very small compared to the larger galaxies that we see today and have grown over time. So by studying the stars in these types of clusters, we learn about a couple of things. We can learn about the early history, perhaps, of our galaxy and its subsequent evolution. And we can also learn about these stars within these clusters themselves and how stars evolve. Since stars evolve over a very long time frame, we can't see a single star evolve over the course of a lifetime. Star like A star like our sun can take 10, 11 billion years to go through its entire life from formation to death. And there's no way to study those. So what we do study is stars at various stages of formation. So what will happen to our sun? Well, these are clusters that are often 11 or 12 or more billion years old. So we are seeing the end states of what's happening to stars much like our own sun that are reaching the end of their lives. Stars like our sun that have lived through their entire lives. And we get to see stages that they go through. Now, we can certainly model them through simulations, but it is also good to be able to see these and compare the actual observations of the evolved stars here with the simulations to help uh, improve our simulations and to get better values for our understanding of these. So studying a globular star clusters like 47 Tuck here gives us a lot of information about other parts of astronomy as well. So that was our picture of the day for March 10th of 2022. It was titled Globular Star Cluster 47 Tuck. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, pre previewed to be a rainbow smiles. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.